So welcome back to another episode on the Turbo Graphics Mini, the PC Engine Mini, the Core Graphics Mini. We're back. And this is a very passionate thing for me, and it is for quite a few of my friends. I'm going to do a few shout outs today uh, to other members of the Turbo Graphics community that have done a lot for the Turbo Graphics and uh, are passionate fans. And this is where we start. Uh, we're very passionate fans, the Turbo Graphics fans. We're crazy. We're crazy because when we were younger, we were the only kid in the neighborhood that had one. There was nobody else around. And it, it, it took me years, years to get older to finally bump into people that had one as well. There was none on my street. There was I was like the only kid. Actually, there was one other kid in my high school that had one. Really great guy. I used to walk to school with him and talk to him about, you know, Ninja Spirit back in the day and all sorts of great stuff. Anyways, it's it's a very niche thing. And so with the announcement of the TurboGrafx Mini, we all got excited instantly. So that's the initial uh, response is that we get excited. We're happy about it. And then we're like, wait a second. What well, games are coming on it? So, you know, I, I per se do a list of 20 games that had to be on it. But at the same time, I was like, even 20, there needs to be more. There needs to be a lot more games. And then they announce it. And they announce all the games. And they're, it's very confusing. I remember the other night when I you know, was covering it, I was confused. And near the end, I was like, what the hell is going on? We're, we've got no legendary acts. We're, we're missing Splatterhouse. We're missing so many games. Where the title of this video is... How do we fix this? How can we fix this? There's a very simple solution. There's a very simple solution for everybody to fix this. You can buy the TurboGrafx Mini and the PC Engine Mini online, and you can bring them home, and you can just play those games. Or, you can do what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's start at the beginning here. When the NES Classic got announced and the Super Nintendo Classic got announced, people were like arguing about the games. Everybody's always arguing about the games. And rightfully so. There's not this game's not on there, that game's on there, why isn't this game on there? And it's this over and over and over. Where I found a solution to that problem. Here's my NES Classic. Here's my Super Nintendo Classic. Great machines. I love these. And do you know why I love them more now? It's because I have every single game on them. How is that possible? Well, a lot of you do know how that's possible. I got them modded. I have every single NES game on here for the American lineup, every single one, all of them. Super Nintendo, have every single game on there for the American unit. Now, was I able to do this? No, I don't have the brains for that. I don't know how to do any of that. I have friends of mine that are very, very gifted in doing that sort of thing. But I, this is what I did. I was looking on Craigslist one day and I was looking up Super Nintendo Classics just to see how much they were going for. Just, just out of curiosity. And then there was a little thing that said, oh yeah, hey, bring it over here and you can get it modded. And I'm like, what? So I took a little trip one day, paid a little bit of money. It wasn't even that much. I got them both modded. It took a couple of hours. I picked them up, brought them home, have everything. Now... The thing is, is we are supporting the company by buying the TurboGrafx Mini. What you decide to do with it after that is up to you. That is your own business. Maybe you're like, no, you know what? I'm only going to play those initial games those, you know, that are on there. I'm happy with that. Let me say something. I'm not happy with that. I am not happy with that. I have a wall here of PC Engine games. I have games that I cannot not have on a TurboGrafx Mini. I cannot live without Legendary Axe. I cannot live without this game being there. It has to be there. It has to be there. I mean, of all games that are not on there, we have to have Keith Courage. And I have a funny feeling I know why Keith Courage wasn't included. It's because licensing. A lot of these things are licensing issues. So in Japan, it's the based on an anime, Wataru. Who knows? where the license is for that now. Maybe it's lost. I can't live without Vigilante. Anyways, I can't live without... I, I probably around 80 games that I have to have on there. So, the option is there 
to get it modded afterwards. That's it. That's all you need to do. It's wonderful. I don't have the. I don't know how to do this stuff. I don't know how to do this stuff. I don't distribute ROMs online. I don't do any of that. I go to people that know how to do this stuff. I pay them, you know, a couple of bucks, you know, a couple of twenty bucks here, and then say, okay. And then you walk home, and you got a PC engine, full. And that's my plan. I, I'm planning to buy the PC engine, mini, right here. You know, this is not it. This is the original, which is ah, I just love this design. Just absolutely love this design. And I'm gonna pick up. This is the big boy here. The Turbo Graphics. It's, this is not the Mini. This is the other size of the Mini. This is the large with the CD-ROM attachment. But I'm gonna get the Turbo Graphics with all of the American games on it, and the PC Engine with all the Japanese games on it. And I'm gonna be a happy boy. I'm gonna be a very ha happy guy for sure. And that will stop all the bickering and arguing online because there's solutions to these things. There's solutions to these things. There's solutions to these things. Everybody can be happy in this world. You know, if a company doesn't present us with old, like we're talking, I, I wouldn't do this with a new system. I wouldn't go and mod a PS4 and stuff like that. And But these are old games from a long time ago, from nearly 30 years ago. We're willing to pay a couple hundred dollars now. Well, Jesus Christ, give us what we want and how we desire it. Anyways, that's my rant. That's my rant. Now, now I want to talk about some friends of mine. I want to talk about some friends of mine. Some friends I've known for quite a few years, and a lot of you out there don't know uh, that I'm friends with these people. Uh, I think you know that I'm friends with Chris Bucci, uh, and I'm going to plug him right away. Let's just do that. Chris Bucci, Spider-1A. Nobody has done more for the TurboGrafx community than him. He is planning to review all of the TurboGrafx games of all, you know, of all time. He's reviewing all of them on his channel. He's nearly there. This has been a project he's been working on since the beginning of YouTube. Yes, he's slow. <laughs> Chris, you're slow. But he's doing it, and it's a passion project. And Chris is one of those guys that I absolutely love on YouTube. I really love this guy, and he does not have the recognition he deserves. He doesn't, and he's done so much for the TurboGrafx community. I love his reviews. There's a bit of comedy in there, a lot of information. It's wonderful. I, I support him. I'm his biggest fan. I'm Chris's biggest fan. And I'll put a link down below. Go check him out. Go check out all of his reviews on the TurboGrafx. Unbelievable. Next up, I love this guy. I love this guy's channel. It is wonderful. It is, a, it is a breath of fresh air on YouTube. It is. And YouTube, this, I'm just gonna say, this guy reminds me why I watch YouTube and why I love YouTube. And it reminds me of when I first came onto YouTube. It's raw, it's to the point, it's passion, and I love it. And that is Bithead 1000. Have any of you guys seen his show? Some of you are like, absolutely. I love his show. And a lot of you are saying, I've never heard of this guy. There's a link down below. Go and check out his channel. I've been wanting to plug him for quite some time and I've been looking for the right way to do it. This is the right way to do it. Now, I just gotta say, I talked earlier on that when I grew up, I never ran into anybody who had the Turbo Graphics. That, was one, that one guy in school, one guy in school used to walk in the rain with him, talking about, as, as I say, like Ninja Spirit and so, so many other ridiculous things. But I didn't have anybody to talk to about it. Everybody came over to my house, or we'll play my Turbo Graphics, and then we talk about it. But uh, it was a very lonely life being a Turbo Graphics fan. It really was. There was not that many people to talk to. And as I've gotten older, I got a chance to talk to Chris Bucci, and I got a chance to talk to Bithead1000. And what I wouldn't have given back in the day to run into these guys, and be like, oh my god, a kindred spirit! Oh my god, you love the Turbo Graphics as well! And that's what I want to say about Bithead1000. He loves the Turbo Graphics. He is such a passionate fan. And he was so angry. He was so angry 
about the games getting announced and you know there's not a lot you know not a lot of what we both wanted we all wanted we all wanted so much more and he i thought he was going to have a heart attack i swear to god and <laughs> that's why i wanted to make this video is that as turbo graphics fans you know what i wouldn't have given back in the day to bump into these guys and had a conversation and say Oh my god, you played Ezra 1 and 2 as well. That would have been amazing. And oh my god, you love all the shooters as well. It's been a very lonely life uh, being a TurboGrafx uh, PC Engine fan over the years. It has. I remember when I first came on here 11 years ago, I swear to god, you could see the tumbleweed go by when I do an episode on the TurboGrafx. Yeah, they got a lot of views. But it was just, it was, I was like, why am I the only person talking about it? There was nobody else doing it. And it's so great that over the years, so many more people have come on to talk about it and share their passion. Uh, and people like Bithead1000, go and check out his channel. He talks a lot about life as well. It's not just about video games. And he reminds me a lot about my, you know, kind of like myself. That, you know, you know, on this channel, I talk a lot about video games. But I also talk a lot about life because... That's what it's all about. If we don't have life and we don't have experiences, we can't, you know, this, this video game thing is an afterthought. It really is. It really is. It's about life and, and I, and I like, uh, you know, talking to Chris in reality and uh, talking to Bithead 1000 about life. And I like hearing about their lives and I like hearing about their personal experiences, about their memories, about their lives. And it's not just about video games. It's not just about talking about the video games. It's about talking about the reality of things. And that's why I like watching these guys. I, I love it, I like their personal memories and I, I'm i getting older now, like a lot of us out there. And I, I wanna hear those stories. And uh, that's what you'll get. So definitely, let's do something amazing today. Let's do something amazing today. I know YouTube is, there's a, there's a lot of negativity out there. There's, there's a lot to be sad about even in the world in general, but let's go and do something amazing today. Let's go and subscribe to these guys. Let's make them happy today. Let's do a selfless act like that and go and make somebody happy. And go and say, hey, how you doing? Like, hey, how's it going? Be happy and spread a bit of love. You know, because we're all in this together. We're all in this together. <laughs> it's reminding me of that line from Brazil. That movie, I love that movie. From Robert De Niro. But we're all in this together. And I, I want to come in and just talk about how to fix the turbo graphics and uh, you know you know with this channel I sometimes go on about some other things and all that so uh, I think I've said my piece I'm gonna definitely get the turbo graphics mini the PC engine mini and I'm gonna go on Craigslist and I'm gonna see if anybody's modding them and I'm gonna get them modded and I'm gonna play all of the games all of the games including vigilante and I don't even love the game that much I, I have a lot of nostalgia about it but I just want to play the motherfucker I absolutely just want to play it for sure. So, guys, I'm out of here. I'm going back to my life. So, anyways, guys, until next time.